Hey, welcome to Hot Chips, where we play video games, which you love. And if you like this, then subscribe uh, and come back for more videos every Tuesday and Thursday. Today, we'll be telling you what exactly is The Witness, um, whether you should pick it up or not, basically. Um, I have my own opinion of the game. Spoilers, I love it. Uh, it be interesting to think what you have to say about it, Amy. So we'll go through, this will be spoiler free. Um, I'm going to say minor spoiler free because I'm going to solve some of the really easy puzzles but it shouldn't um, take away from the game uh, in any way. So before we do that mm. I have to say that we are giving away a copy of Gravity Rush Remastered on the PlayStation 4. Ooh. So if you want to win that all you need to do is tell us in the comments uh, what your most anticipated PlayStation 4 game is, PlayStation game in general, for 2016, uh, and we'll be drawing that out on the 12th of February. So, so can people comment on any of our videos for that? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, any of our videos. Nice. Cool, so let's get started on The Witness. Okay. So basically this is a game um, by an indie developer that was made famous by his last game, uh, Braid, which was uh, widely celebrated as an extremely intelligent puzzle game. So building on that, this is a completely different game, a uh, different style, but it's all about solving puzzles in a really clever way. Uh, and obviously th the first th kind of thing you notice about the game is its amazing art style, which I'm a big fan of. Yeah, I just, I don't know, I, yeah, I, I'm never gonna love this game. Like I just, it's not really my thing and the internet's probably gonna be mad at me for saying that, but it, it, I mean, it's pretty. It's it's not the most beautiful game I've ever seen. What don't you like about the I, setting? It's, it's not that I don't like it. Like, I do. It's just there's... I think the problem is there's nothing that really compels me to play this game. Right. So, I don't really like puzzle games. Like, they frustrate me. And it's not an art style which I think is super revolutionary or majestic. I think... Like, I've seen other things that look like this. What you come to appreciate about the art style is that it's very intelligent. Right. So you'll see trees that when shadows go through them make you know, pretty patterns on the ground I or even really people. I wouldn't really call that an art style though. I'd call that like the more like the mechanic. But it's not... Like they, use the, they use the art style as a mechanic, I guess. Hmm. Okay. I don't know. It's just, it just doesn't, it doesn't wow me. Right. Yeah. I, I understand that you like it. I do like it. Yeah. I think it's really colourful. And I'm, I'm really easily distracted by pretty colours. I'm really easily distracted by pretty colours. Right. Of but you don't like this. I okay. just, I mean, it's pretty. It's let's, pretty. Get, let's get back on track. So this is our first puzzle. Um, this is the very, the standard puzzle of the game. So basically what it is, is it's a maze. Your circles are where you start, and the key to the game, right, is getting to the end point. Right. So very easy to start with. That's your puzzle. That was easy. Yep, it's successful. Okay. So this is obviously the beginning area of Based the game. Based on that, I could maybe platinum this. Yeah, okay. no, definitely. Great. So what you'll find um, is that's very easy, kind of teaching you what you have to do. Obviously, there's a few different ways to solve uh, some of these starting puzzles. Um, but then you get out into the world. And this is there game... A castle? Yeah, there's lots of ruins and things. Ooh. It's, it's very much a game about um, discovering. There's no set path. I guess there is kind of a recommended path, because if you come down this area, the puzzles still remain quite easy uh, and kind of the game forces you in the right direction very subtly. Um, so this is our kind of our next level puzzle so now you have to start kind of using your brain because you're taking the circle and you want to get to here. But obviously that didn't do anything so why didn't that do anything? Because... It's not the right way to get there. Right. So in this particular puzzle, which is still one of the easy ones, so very spoiler free so far, you have to try to Stop the black and the white touching. Ah. Which I haven't done here. So interesting. Haven't you? No, because I can't get to the end. Ah. Oh, I already just dislike this. Why? I just, I don't know. Aha, success. Cool. All right. <sighs> so, now what you're probably thinking at this point is that, you know, this is a, a very simple game. Like, why, why can't this just be a mobile game where you're scrolling through puzzles? Right, and about about an hour into the game, I was kind of thinking that as well. The puzzles were still, you know, quite quite simple. Um, they were all kind of contained and just kind of a little bit of logic to figure them out. But then, mm -hmm. but then, these pink trees I like a lot. You like the pink trees. I like the pink trees. Yeah. Well, how about this puzzle here? 
So obviously there's a start point and there's multiple ways to finish the game. That's like one of those DNA graphs where you're like, try and work out what colour hair the children are going to have. Oh yeah. 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 Or the colour of the eyes and it's like that one's recessive so yeah. it's got less chance. Is that what this puzzle is? It's not that. No. So this, um, this is kind of the first, I guess, the first challenging puzzle of the game and it's more, um, more, what's the word when it's like foreshadowing? It's more foreshadowing um, what the rest of the game is going to be like. So we're still kind of at the beginning here. So again, light spoilers. Um, but you'll see that there's many different ways to finish this puzzle. Which way could we go? That's wrong. So why is that wrong? Well, after a little bit of looking around, you can see a very pretty apple tree over here. Very pretty apple tree. Very sparse, sparse apple tree. Well, doesn't there's that... One, there's only one apple. Doesn't that look like something? The puzzle. It looks like the puzzle, it right. It looks like the puzzle. So we can see here now that it resembles the puzzle. You can see the broken branches missing from the diagram. You can also see an apple. Right. So in this case, to solve this puzzle, we want to find that apple. Gotcha. Success. Right. So. Not so frustrating so far. Not so frustrating so far. So I think we'll leave it there to avoid any further puzzle discovery ruining. Right. But I think you can get a pretty good feel for what this game's going to be like. Um, How long is this game meant to be? I think it's about um, somewhere in the teens to 20 hours. Oh yeah, okay. Um, and yeah, it's just, uh, I find it really rewarding. Um, it's a game that you need patience for because sometimes you will get stuck. Um, but take a break, go back to it. It's Actually, I, I've heard a lot of people kind of saying, because um, you know, people have been reviewing this over the last couple of weeks or so, the best way to play it is to kind of do some, go away and come back to it. Like yeah. It's definitely not the kind of game that you're going to sit down and yeah. just jam it all out. Yeah. yeah. And as much as possible, figure the game out for yourself because it is just a really rewarding experience when you get the puzzles correct. Right. Cool. And can you only play on PlayStation? It's on PlayStation 4 and PC. Cool. Awesome. So again, uh, thanks for watching. Hit subscribe. And if you want to win Gravity Rush Remastered, then tell us what your favourite uh, most anticipated PlayStation 4 game this year is in the comments. Cheers. Bye.